Mayor Krusen reverses course and announces she will not seek a second term. Good evening. I'm Ann Allred. And I'm Mike Bush. The surprising announcement comes after a summer of protests calling for Krusen's resignation. Our Casey Nolan is live at City Hall with what this means for the future of city leadership. Casey. Mike and Ann, Lida Krusen has spent more than two decades serving here at City Hall. Just one term as mayor, and that one term was not quiet. Serving as mayor during these past four years has been far and away the biggest honor of my life. And no doubt a challenging four years for Mayor Lida Krusen, even before the COVID-19 pandemic. Not long after she was sworn in in 2017, the city erupted in protest over a police shooting. Then there was the failed merger with the county and an attempt to privatize the airport. Then more protest in 2020 with calls for her to resign. Wednesday, as she announced her decision not to run for a second term, Krusen said it had nothing to do with those demands. You know, they did not. I think when you run for this office, you have to understand the pain of where protests come from. Krusen's own pain motivated her first run for Board of Aldermen in the 1990s, after her husband was shot and killed in front of her and their children near their Central West End home. When a person is shot or killed on our streets, it's a gut punch to me every time. I know that feeling and I feel for those families. Kristen says she's now, quote, pushing 70 and after a birthday this past weekend, decided it was time to retire. You know, it does make you stop and think. And uh, elections are about the future. And, um, the, you know, I don't have uh, a, a lock on all the good ideas. From tech jobs to a new soccer team. Krusen can point to more than 10 billion in private investment during her time in office. It's my huge honor to be the first woman mayor of St. Louis. But many future mayors will be women. And the comments about pearls, hairstyles, and whether it's mayoral to carry a purse will all fade away. One more twist, St. Louis City voters just changed the way the mayor is elected in this past election. They'll now require a runoff between the top two vote getters. And a lot of people think that new system will favor Tashara Jones, the city treasurer, whom the mayor just barely beat in the last election. The mayor says, though, that was not a factor in her decision to retire. So for right now, we have Jones, Alderwoman Kara Spencer, and Dana Kelly, who have filed to run for mayor. A lot of people think the board president, Lewis Reed, might run again as well. He has until Monday's deadline to file. Live downtown, Casey Nolan, five on your side.